One interesting finding, for instance, is that lactate is what's produced when we exercise intensely. Our muscles produce lactate. And lactate is a very powerful appetite suppressant. Now, some of you may be saying, I exercise hard. I get really, really hungry. Well, that may be true, but it's also true that if you exercise really, really hard and then you hydrate well and you wait a little while, oftentimes that hunger will subside. Do what's best for you, but understand that lactate has powerful effects on our appetite because why? because lactate has powerful effects, not just on our body, but on our brain. And it is able to impact the activity of neurons in our so-called hypothalamus, a little marble-sized region above the roof of our mouth that contains some of the neurons that control our appetite and our degree of satiety. So the point here is that lactate is a molecule produced in the body that can actually signal to the brain. Most of you perhaps have heard that lactate can be used as a fuel for neurons. During exercise, lactate, the preferred fuel for neurons under most circumstances, especially under circumstances of intense exercise, that spares glucose for other things, including for cognitive work later on. This is perhaps one of the reasons why when people do intense exercise, provided it's not too long and too intense, and then you go to learn something, you have enhanced focus. It's because of the arousal we've been talking about all along today, but it's also because we believe that there's glucose, there's fuel that's been spared that then can be used by the neurons because during the exercise, you weren't using quite as much glucose, you were using lactate. Now, lactate is also a stimulus for something called the blood-brain barrier, which is made up of endothelial cells, specialized endothelial cells that act as a barrier so that certain things, in particular large molecules, can't cross from the body to the brain. Lactate stimulates the release of something called VEGF, V-G-E-F, which is basically an endothelial growth factor that promotes the stability and growth of the blood-brain barrier. This is very important in the context of brain health and longevity, and longevity in particular, because one of the major features of age-related cognitive decline, and one that's greatly exacerbated in Alzheimer's is a breakdown of the blood-brain barrier. So the integrity, the structure and function of the blood-brain barrier is something that's very important and related to brain health. And exercise that's intense enough to produce lactate causes the increase in VEGF that acts on and within the endothelial cells to improve the integrity of the blood-brain barrier.